I'm going to talk in this video about what is going into 2024 for me, the thing I'm most passionate about, the thing I'm praying for the most, and the thing I hope to see God's Holy Spirit bring about. And I know it's His desire, so I know I am coming to the throne of God in agreement about this thing. And I'm fully confident, walking in extreme faith, that God's going to do this in place after place after place after place. This Gregorian calendar year of 2024. I believe I'm saying and decreeing that Psalm that 2024 is going to be a year of Psalm 24 where people's eyes are opened region by region, county by county. And I say county because uh, the in the United States, county government is so extremely important and effective. County by county, region by region, town by town, address by address, house by house, People are going to have their eyes open to Psalm 24, which says, The earth is the Lord's. Heretz, all of Heretz is the Lord's, <coughs> is the Lord's. And the fullness of it, everything that's contained in it, the world and they that dwell in it. People that resent God and hate God. And there, there is that group that Romans 1 talks about. They don't like to retain God in their knowledge. They might not like to think about it, but they belong to God. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and those who dwell in it. And I'm talking to intercessors, people of faith who believe that God made us to have dominion in Adam's stead. And Jesus came just to restore. He came to redeem earth and restore man to that place of dominion in the earth to emphasize and exercise and enforce his kingdom. If you don't, if you're not of that mindset, you're not going to like this video at all. <laughs> but probably I'll listen to it anyway because you might get converted. <laughs> yeah, I'm being a little bit of a smart aleck there. Um, I've been known to do that. <laughs> um, the earth is the Lord's. The place you live, it belongs to Jehovah God. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's His. He made it. And he has placed you there to enforce the dominion that originates at the throne of God, where you, if you've been born again, are seated with Christ Jesus at his right hand. And you have the ability to hear from heaven and know what to bind and what to loose from your territory and what to usher in by the passioned or impassioned decree of your heart, from your heart and your mouth that's coming straight from the heart of God on behalf of your region, the place you live. So as you're listening to me now, I'm saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, make this year of 2024 the year of awakening to Psalm 24. To these people, whoever's listening to this video right now, Lord, may, they, may the Spirit of God rise up in them to realize the authority, authority they carry in the place where their feet tread and where they frequent. And may they realize that they have the very authority of Jesus, the living word of God, to decree his word, the logos, which you will make rhema to become the word of God that's resonating, pulsating from the very herets under their feet. And that it will, as they decree it and faithfully live it, getting in agreement and alignment with you, Father. You will bring it into pass. According to Psalm 103.20, you will send your angels to 
orchestrate circumstances to bring the word into <laughs> the word to pass that's being decreed, originating from the heart of God and the throne of God, but coming down into our hearts and minds as prophetic intercessors and going out our lips cause us to understand that. May this 2024 be the year of awakening in our hearts and minds to Psalm 24. May this year of 2024 be the awakening of people that live in our towns and cities and counties and larger regions. May they be awakened in their heart and mind to Psalm 24 and realize where we live, it's the Lord's. We who live here, we're the Lord's. And may we be able to look back, and this seems like a quick happening, Lord, but you you have the ability and you have caused a nation to rise up and become uh, in, in existence in a day. So you can do this in a year, Lord. May we look back at the end of 2024 and say, wow, we opened the gates and the King of Glory came in to our region. And we can see the difference that he is already making. <laughs> Where we live. <laughs> Bring it to pass, Father, in the name of Jesus, to everyone listening to this. And let this video go where you want it to go, Lord. Let people that are supposed to hear it, hear it. We receive you, the King of glory, to come and sit on your throne and inhabit our place that is your place. King of glory, come in. We welcome you.